Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shay, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a rose gold inspired look. So I wear my rose gold ears pretty much almost every single time I go to Magic Kingdom. They're my favorite. Oh, well, that's a lie. All of them are kind of my favorite, but I wear these ones a lot. So whenever I go to the parks and I'm wearing my ears, I make sure that I kind of coordinate my eyeshadows to my ears. That's just a me thing probably. It's probably kind of weird, but that's what I do. So if you guys are interested in achieving this eyeshadow look, make sure to stick around and also make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world to me. And also head over to Instagram to follow my Instagram because there's lots more Disney content over there. I have already done my face makeup, so make sure to go down below and check out the link. It's going to be my sweat proof, Florida proof, Disney World proof makeup look. That's going to show you guys basically what I do with like my foundation and my primer, all of that stuff. And without further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, we are going to start with an eyeshadow primer. So I have the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer here. This is just a sample that I got from Sephora a long time ago. I just put a little dab on my finger, dab it right into my fingers, and then I just put it right on top of my eyelids. I take this all the way up to my brows. Perfect. So the first color that we're going to use is going to be Bang Bang, which is right here. It's this color here, Bang Bang. It's a very pretty, shimmery, just very light pink color. I'm going to put this color all over the lid. I have a mirror sitting over here, but looking at this one's kind of easier. So next we're going to be taking the color Ambitious, which is a nice like brown, coppery, but yet pink color. It's really pretty. I'm going to be putting this on the outer corner, it's like outer half of my eyeshadow. Eyeshadow? No. I'm going to be putting this color on the outer half of my eyelid. You have to be super careful with these um, eyeshadow colors because they are super, super, super pigmented. So a little bit goes a really long way. So just keep that in mind. So you can see there. So then the last color we're gonna use from the Naked palette is going to be Drunk Dial, which is right here at the end, this color right here. I'm gonna take a very, 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 very tiny bit of this color and put it right on the corner, like outer corner of my eyelid. Like a very very little bit that's just gonna really darken it up so now I'm going to be taking a just plain clean just fluffy brush this is an eco tools just fluffy brush I don't even know large shadow brush is what this is and I'm basically just going to blend all of those colors together I don't want any harsh lines especially since that color on the outer corner is super 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 dark I'm going to just kind of blend that in I'm gonna make sure not to get it into the inner corner because I want to keep the inner part of my eyelid very bright so I'm just gonna make sure to make sure I'm just gonna make sure to make sure to make sure to make sure to make sure. I'm just gonna make sure that I keep the darker colors on the outer corner. Perfect. Okay, so I did lie. 
that color was not the last color we we're using from the Naked palette. The next color is going to be Turn On, which is ooh, which is this color here. And I'm putting this on the brow bone. This is going to be kind of our highlight. Let's try again. Let's put that color right under the brow bone. My bangs do not want to stay, which is kind of annoying. And there we have that. That is the eyeshadow. So the eyeliner that I use is the Maybelline Lime Stiletto Eyeliner. I only put this on the top lash line. I never put any mascara or eyeliner on the bottom lashes because I just honestly just kind of think it gives me a harsh look and I like to keep my eyes very like bright and like open. So I just put this on the top lash line. mascara I use two different mascaras I use the falsies by Maybelline this is the falsies lash lift and then I also use Maybelline's lash stiletto I put the lash stiletto on first and I do use probably two to three coats of this depending on the day and then I go over it with the uh, falsies lash lift so gonna do that Now for my bottom lashes, I take the same Falsies Lash Lift and just put a very thin coat on the bottom lashes. I'm really just not into having the harsh, heavy look, but if you are, more power to you and you do you. So that is it for my Rose Gold Inspired look. If you guys do try this out, make sure to tag me on Instagram. Um, I would love to see it. I would love to see how you guys kind of make your take on it. Make sure that you do hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.